What's going on you guys? My name is Wolf and welcome to today's video. So in today's video we're going to talk about what it was like transferring colleges. So I transferred to a different college my sophomore year of college. I started out in a different university my freshman year, but I moved down here, which is my kind of like my hometown. My hometown is actually where the university is, but I moved here, which is like an hour away from the university, my hometown. So it's it was a big difference. I mean, when I went to my first university, I was like 20 minutes away from the university. I lived at home, but I was like 20 minutes away. Traffic was never that bad. There was no construction. I took a back way and I got there pretty quickly. It was easier than going the long way because my parking lot was over there when I took the shortcut. But when I transferred to universities, I mean, the friends part wasn't that bad. I know a lot more people at this university that I go to now because it's from my hometown. So I know a lot more people than I did at my first university. But the big difference was the um, was the drive. So there's a lot of construction going on. So that was the big deal. There's a lot of construction going on on the way to my college. And then my college is an hour away. It takes me an hour away. And if I take a shortcut, it takes me even longer. Actually, it takes me, it sometimes takes me an hour to get to school. But the college is technically like 30 minutes away. That's just because of the construction. But if I take the shortcut, it takes me about 40 to 50 minutes to get to school. Just depending on, you know, if the if, if circumstance, if it, if it rains, you know, anything could really fix the drive time based on different factors. If I was at my original university, it would only still take me like 30 minutes to get there, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, even with bad traffic. But if I go with this university now, it takes me a lot longer to get to school. But for me, it's not really that bad of a big deal because I leave about 6. 6 to 6 15 and I get there at about 7 7 10 depending on traffic and construction because once I got stuck in construction and because there were stalled vehicles and it took me almost two hours to get to school I was at school by like 8 8 10 8 8 15 and I left at 6 20 so it was like a really bad experience but that's like the biggest deal, but I leave at 6.20, so it doesn't take me very long to get to school. If I have to be at school by 8 o'clock, so it's not too big of a deal. If I leave at 6.20, 6 I get there on time with some extra time to walk around campus and get some of my energy out and get a start and get and get coffee if I need coffee or go see a professor if I need to because some professors are there pretty early. So that's kind of like the biggest thing. And then finding your way around. I think that's the second biggest thing. So... This university, I don't, it's kind of difficult to compare how large the university is to a different university. I don't know if one is bigger than the other. I mean, I haven't looked, but for me, it was much harder to find my way around my first university. It took me a lot longer because I felt like I was walking all the way across campus from my bio class to my English class or my parking lot to my bio class. But at the college I go to now, I park. I guess I park by one of the dorms, so it doesn't take me very long to get, it didn't take me very long to get to my math class, because my math class was one of the first buildings there, so it didn't take me very long, but, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's very large, my mom worked on campus there, so at first it would seem large when I was just going there with my mom, but when I'm actually there comparing it to another university, it doesn't seem as big, it seemed like it takes me a shorter time to get from where I parked to my first class than it did from where I parked before to get to my first class at my first university. But I would say that the university I go to now is so, it's, it's so pretty, it's so much more beautiful. They are cherry blossoms, it's so beautiful. And then during the summer, during the fall or the spring and the summer, it's really beautiful. So, so different, but I prefer the university here than I did to my first university. I mean, I know much more people, I know more of the professors, I know more of the, more of the advisors I know so many more people and the campus is so beautiful and I know the town really well and everything's basically in walking distance at the first university I went to nothing was in walking distance really it was like outside of town I guess outside of the main town but the campus I go to now I can walk and go get myself some food on, uh, like a get to myself some pizza at like a lo local shop or a local anything and I can go get 
I saw a sandwich and I have to eat on campus. I much more prefer the campus I go to now than the first campus I went to. So I guess that's really what it was like transferring and the drive is just the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest difference. So, and the town, I guess, because it's one town was bigger, one town was smaller. There are less people going to this university. There are more people going to the other university. So, yeah, so I much more prefer the university I go to now. But if you guys are transfers, have transferred further than Florida University or community college, what was it like for you guys? Which college did you prefer more? So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as usual, you guys, I'll see you guys next time in the next video. So, see you guys later.